everyone and welcome to a new video. Welcome if you are new here. Hello, my name is Roxanne, also known as Bai Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist, illustrator, and maker of things. Also a big tarot enthusiast, I guess, or collector. A lot of words could go under there. Uh, I'm big on the tarot, in case you, you didn't know that. Um, I've been reading tarot cards for many years, collecting decks for many years. Uh, and today, I thought it would be really fun to unbox with you and share with you my latest uh, tarot deck purchase. This was a new to me tarot deck that I discovered through uh, watching a video on Tarot Magpie's uh, YouTube channel. I'll put a link to her channel down below. I'll also put a link to the video where I first saw this deck. She was kind of curating her like August summary sort of childlike kind of tarot decks. And she featured this deck among an array that she had chosen and I just went right to it. It sucked me in like a tractor beam sucked me right in. Um, I just saw how holographic it was, which actually usually I'm not a hollow fan, but mixed with the colors that is in this and it's still in the plastic. I haven't even opened it up yet. My mind was like blown. I immediately was like, I need this deck right now. I need to go get this right now. I'm happy to report that I ordered it maybe like two days ago and it's already in my paws, which is crazy. I also recently found out when I got my package that they're based in Culver City, which is like not that far away from me. I can kind of say that they're in my hood, which is crazy. Also to know even just the tape packaging that was on the box is so cool. Uh, it's Weird Works is the um, company that has made this tarot deck and they do have a couple of other tarot decks that, oh man, was I tempted. Oh man, was I tempted. Uh, but I tried to focus just on this one since I had already seen kind of a little bit of a preview of it. Um, but what this deck is, it's the Eldritch Overload Tarot deck. And what it is, it's a fantasy cyberpunk tarot. So think like Blade Runner, Rainbow Acid Trip meets D&D. That's the deck that's happening here. Um, they did include another card um, in my order. I don't think this is in this deck. They have a uh, like an Empress Tarot deck. I think this is from that deck. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think it is. So this was another deck that I was looking at that was really beautiful. They had another one. Uh, there's just they had all sorts of really fun goodies that I was very very tempted by. But again, this was the one that really sucked me in because I loved the whole like cyberpunk meets D&D &D thing going on. They also have lots of different options as far as things that you can kind of uh, like bundle together or, or pick and choose what you want. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way. I purchased this with my own money, just a big fan, and I really want to share it with you guys. I also have not opened it yet. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of share my real time reaction as I open it up. Yeah, they have all sorts of options as far as buying the deck. You can just get the deck on its own. And I think it does come with a small little guide booklet. Um, but I also wanted the book itself, this beautiful tarot reading guide, which we can get to afterwards. I really want to look at the deck first, but just like absolutely beautiful, stunning. I mean, like look at the holographic on the pages there. Oh my god. I think they also had, I mean, look at this, you guys. It's so busy and colorful and delicious. I feel like maybe this deck was made for me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really... Oh my god, it's so cool. You're going to hear me say that a lot in this video. I can already tell you this. Look at this. That's so cool. So this is kind of neat because it's just a little bit more of an in-depth sort of look at things. So you've got like the full page artwork on one side, which is really cool. You've got sort of a general summary, upright, reverse, and then even some journaling prompts um, on the bottom of each sort of page, which is really cool. So we'll definitely do a flip through of this, not in, in its entirety, but like we'll take a look at that. But this is what I am, this is what I'm really here for is the tarot deck. So let's get some scissors and let's open this bad boy up. My goodness, I am excited. Uh, the quality of the book, by the way, already is so nice. Um, I really love this box too. I want to be gentle with me opening this because I definitely want to keep the box intact. You know, I'm, I'm oftentimes so drawn to like spooky tarot decks. And I feel like I have a lot in my collection and I feel like this was, I, I find myself the more I kind of dive deeper into my tarot studies, the more I'm kind of doing tarot journaling, 
certainly the more that I'm reading for others, that's something that's happened a lot this year is I'm doing a lot more readings for other people. Um, I find myself being drawn to more decks like this that are like really colorful and fun. And I find too that it's really, it's really fun when you do bring in a deck like this that has so much to pull from, like the imagery and the colors and the detail, those like jam packed cards really just reinvigorates your tarot studies in my opinion. So I'm just really excited to deep dive into this and even just to do some tarot journaling as well. I do maintain a tarot journal. System warning, uploading consciousness to the spark. Do not power off device. Um, I do maintain a tarot journal, which is obviously pretty personal. I, I may do a couple of journaling prompts though, maybe over on Patreon, just so it's not kind of totally out there in the world. But I know I have like a getting to know your deck spread or like a, um, a new deck interview spread. That might be something that I do with this deck to kind of kick things off. So Beautiful holographic box, totally obsessed. Let's get into this thing. Uh, Weird Works is, again, who makes this deck. And let's take a look. I love that the, the, the tower is on the front here. Ooh, oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God, this is stunning. Stunning. Where are we putting this lid? I'm trying to make things look aesthetic, even though my candle is like struggling for its life over there. Okay, so we've got a little guidebook. So that's nice to know that even if you don't, you know, get the full guidebook option, you do have a little one that comes in your deck, which is great. Um, it is a Rider weight based deck, by the way. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing kind of the comparisons of things. Uh, welcome to the cyberpunk fantasy world of Neo Valken. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Through this 78 card deck, you will be able to explore a grimy dystopian future laced with corporate greed, cybernetic upgrades, neon signs, hologramic, hologram advertisements, virtual escapism, synth drugs, violence, and ever-present watchful eye of an authoritarian government. When everything seems hopeless, it's easy to check out and give up, turning to virtual escapism or apathy, or becoming someone who upholds and perpetuates a broken system. But in the darkness, there is still a glimmer of hope. Change is always possible, as long as there are those who are still willing to fight for it. Wow, so you can tell there's definitely a much larger backstory going on here, which I think... I will get more out of out of the companion book. I think there is a larger story to sort of unpack here. That's that sort of, uh, and they even mention it here, the, the tabletop role-playing elements here. Um, it's It has a D&D &D flavor to it, which is really cool. Okay, we do have some different uh, suits. We have potions, which is cups, swords, wands, and coins, which is pentacles. That's great. I like when the suits aren't, super overly swapped let me tell you when I do um my pasta tarot I have to have like a, a cheat sheet next to me because I can never remember what the pasta types are um oh look at that oh you've got like a beholder on the other side what dude and then look you've got like kind of dice on the inside there Wow, dude, the packaging alone on this is stunning. Oh my, is this my new favorite deck? Is this my new favorite deck? Is this what has, has just happened here? Oh, they feel, oh my God, they're matte. They're, oh my God, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Ah! Oh my God, okay, just, uh, just let me geek out here for a minute. I was not anticipating them to be matte. They are, can you hear that? They are totally matte. Wow, look at the back. Oh my God. This is why I'm not a tarot YouTuber because it would just be me going, oh my God, wow, can you believe this? Okay, let's take a tour. Let's, let's get it, let's get it popping here. Um, Wow, my mind is like really blown by this by this deck already. I I cannot believe it. Okay, here we go. I can't believe they're matte. I don't know if I own a deck that's like this, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I think because I was thinking because it has all of the hollow that I was thinking it would be a glossy or semi-gloss card. It is not. It is totally matte to the touch. Like, like doodle a ballpoint pen on this puppy. It is matte. Oh, they smell really good too. 
Oh my God. Okay. Wait, what is this smell reminding me of? Oh, I don't know, but it smells really good. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, here we go. We have The Fool, this cool like DJ cat thing going on, stepping off the stage. Oh my God, that is really cool. Oh my God. I'm just trying to take it in. This is my first time looking at this. Oh, The Magician. <gasps> Oh, magic missile in the background here. Okay, we're getting the D&D. &D. We're getting the D&D &D happening here. Wow. I'm gonna go a little bit slower for the major arcana and then I'll speed up a little bit on the minor because we're gonna be here forever if I'm just gasping over these cards. Oh, look at how they have the numbers in here. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. You know, they have a... um. I don't know, it is kind of giving me like cool trading card vibe at the same time. Like it feels, this feels like a collector's item just just in the handful of cards here. Oh, the Empress, she's got their pomegranate, her crown of stars going on here. So very easily recognizable Rider weight symbolism, which is really nice. I am a fan of that. Um, I like these sort of like vines happening in the background here. That's really cool. Let's see. We got the emperor leaning on his little chair there. And then just the holographic on this is stunning. Oh, look at the hierophant. Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God. The colors are amazing in this. The artwork is amazing. Okay, who was the artist for this? We need to give the artist some credit here. Who did the art for this? Hold on, pump the brakes, because this is absolutely stunning. Here we go. Artwork and writing by Brenda Ho. I'm assuming that's, yes, design and layout by Brenda Ho. That must have been who also did the deck. Let me see. Does it say who the artist is online? I'm gonna assume that it's Brenda Ho is who did it, who did the artwork on this. Uh, yeah, because that's writing. Artwork and writing is Brenda Ho. I believe that's who the artist is. Oh my gosh, look at all of the... Okay, I'm getting ahead of, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This might be my new favorite deck. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely need to do like some deck interview, get to know you kind of spreads for sure. Okay, the Hierophant, stunning. So cool. The Lovers got like a symbiotic sort of relationship happening here in like a trash bubble sort of looking thing interesting the chariot this background here is is giving Tron a little bit look at the strength card oh my god oh my god the hermit yes yes this just really fits. This really fits. I mean, even just the detail of like the little like smashed like can over here. There is so much detail in these cards. It's crazy. There's our Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Justice. We've got a nice range of representation in this thus far, which is also just really nice. The hanged man, that's cool. I like these um, like eyeballs and like the security footage up here. Kind of interesting, like quite literally looking at things with new perspective. Really fun take on that. Ooh, the death card. Ooh, yeah, there's definitely more, there is more to this deck than what we're seeing here for sure temperance stunning just the range of colors is just so crazy oh the devil card this is fun you see this guy like tied down in the background here with a ring light i think it's a ring light it certainly looks like it yeah because there's like a tablet or a phone inside of it We got the tower. Again, you've got like the dice shapes happening here. 
The star. Oh my God. That is so beautiful. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. My mind is blown. Look at the moon. Whoa. Wow. The sun. Wow. I mean, just look at the contrast between these. Oh my God. Oh my God. This deck is beautiful. Worth every penny. Worth it. This, it feels like a collector's item. Worth every penny. Judgment. The world. Ooh, interesting. I'm, I'm really glad that I got the guidebook because I think there's definitely some more backstory happening here. God, look at this background color. Wow, I don't know what it is too. I think because it is matte cards, the color is somehow even more vibrant. Like, I don't know if my camera is really doing this justice. Like, the, these cards in real life, they are so vibrant. And just with the perfect amount of the holographic, I just really love that a lot. Okay, we're into wands now. We got the two of wands. I'm gonna move a little bit faster because again, we're gonna be here forever. Three of Wands, beautiful. Looking out to our landscape. <laughs> this is a fun one. That's very fun. Five of Wands. You got a lot going on in this one. A lot going on in this one. Look at the energy of this card, though. Like, there are some vibes happening here. Six of Wands. Ooh, I like that they're like interview microphone situation. Seven of Wands. Wow. Even just the design of the weapon is really cool here. Eight of Wands. Go, 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 baby. Movement. Direction. Nine of Wands. This chick is cool. Look at her like arm over here or lack thereof. That was really cool. Mm, I love this one. I saw this one online. Um, I think either on the website or I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but I saw the artwork for this and I remember this being kind of the thing that sealed the deal for me because I just loved this like crow head figure uh, with the keyboard and work, work keyboard. This just, I, wow, I just resonated. This card really resonated for me uh, right away, the artwork when I saw, when I was, when I was going through the artwork online. Page of Wands, always watching. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, oh my God, look at her. Look at her. Wow, I love this cat. Look at this cat with like armor and like a faux paw, like a cyber paw. What? King of Wands, Ace of Potions, are you kidding me? Look at that. Wow. Oh, two of Potions. Again, you see the D&D &D sort of elements coming through here. God, this is beautiful. Three of Potions. <laughs> That's really fun. The character design in this is unbelievable. The backgrounds, the props, I mean, this is just like my mind is blown. This is definitely giving D&D &D vibes here. Six of potions. Seven of potions, wow, what a contrast in comparison to some of the other designs. That's really cool. Eight of potions. It's interesting, the, the, the cups, here, which is the potions in this deck, is giving like college vibes a little bit, like college student vibes. I don't know. Okay, I say that, and then we get we get the ten of cups. I don't know. These previous ones, it, it kind of felt like that. Um, gosh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Wow. This is like our our family card. Quite pretty pretty literal. Uh, I do think this is a, a good one for my intuitive readers out there, and I'm definitely in that camp um, of being able to just kind of look at the visuals. 
Page of Potions, Knight of Potions, she is cool. Look at her boot in action there. That is neat. Queen of Potions. Wow, the queens are really stunning in this in this deck. Okay, what isn't stunning? This deck is incredible. Like, my mind is really blown on this. King of Potions. Um, represented with a woman. I really like that. That's a nice little twist there. Oh, and she's sitting in, like, a creature here. Because you can see, like, the little claws giving Robo Crab, which tracks... Ace of Swords, ooh, ah, Two of Swords. I always love seeing, and now you've probably heard me say this in other decks, I'm, I'm always intrigued to see how this uh, sword suit is represented in other decks. Because obviously there's some pretty heavy cards in this suit, so I'm always intrigued to see how other artists take on it. Hmm, that's a good one. That's a good one. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Just a alien popping out of the torso there. Seven of Swords. Ooh. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Oh my gosh. Definitely giving D and D vibes, for sure. Page of Swords, she's cool. God, the clothing and stuff is so cool. Oh, Knight of Swords, look at this guy. Oh, that is cool. Wow, the queens are really good in this deck. I really love the queens. Those have been some of my favorite cards. King of Swords, look at this dude. Wow. Ace of Coins. Look at the color shift. Look at that. To go from that to that. Wow. Can't see all the coins. Oh, interesting. Two of Coins. Infinity, of course, represented there. I don't know if you can tell with the hollow. Three of Coins. Making a, making a plan. Four of coins. God, his face is cool. Wow. I want to, like, get my... This, like, inspires me to get my sketchbook and start sketching stuff from this. Because it's just so cool. Here's, like, another bird person again. I love these bird people. Wow. I, like, want to go draw bird people. This, like, cat-tiger creature... It's really interesting. Dante is snoring in the background. I don't know if you can hear him. Wow, the co the uh, the hollow on on the coins cards are kind of fun because they've had this they have this like uh, neon Linda Blair kind of green in the background, and with the hollow on top of it, they really do look like they're like glowing. That's a very very cool detail. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, look at this ten of coins. The oysters. Wow. Page of coins. Knight of coins. Queen of coins. Look at her with the bunnies. Oh my god. Okay, what did I say? The queens are some of the best cards in this deck. Look at her. Stunning. Oh, that might be one of my favorites. Wow, even just the background. That is beautiful. And the king of coins. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was a treat. Let me tell you, that was a real treat. Okay, let's do just a quickie little flip through of the guidebook. I know I've kind of already teased it a little bit. Um, 
but let's just do a, just a little quick flip because obviously I don't want to just ruin this whole thing here. Uh, yeah, weird works. Check them out, you guys. It's pretty, pretty mind blowing. Um, just the quality of everything too is really incredible. Okay, so we do have some backstory here of what what's going on in this story. So I definitely want to take the time to kind of read through some of this because uh, we've got some. Oh, look, we even have like the types of kind of some like race and class situation going on here. Again, leaning into the D&D. Arc barbarians, a circle of druids, junk mutants. Okay, so we do have some descriptions of what some of these figures are in here. Uh, how to read a tarot spread. They've got a couple of simple card spreads. And then it gets into the deck. Um, and as I kind of mentioned at the start, we've got kind of the oh, okay you've got like a really nice in-depth description of what's happening on the card upright reverse which is great and then some journal prompts at the bottom so really thorough guidebook here and very straightforward as far as the layout goes which i also really like um gosh that is cool this is going to be a lot of fun to go through and even just to have there's that queen of coins oh my god i love her I love her. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of lore behind this, even just reading some of the generic sort of little blurbs up here. So I see a lot of deep diving happening with this because there's a whole world behind these cards that the artist has created um, that I definitely need to read up on um, aside from just sort of getting to know this deck in general but wow what a stunning deck so my mind is blown I cannot believe how incredible uh this deck is quite possibly my current favorite um and one that I definitely really look forward to deep diving because I think there is a lot to unpack and take in and my gosh even just to shuffle these matte cards like in my paws is just really exciting so um yeah, I think that about does it. Uh, I will put links down below, of course, to things that I mentioned. I think when you buy this deck, you can also kind of mention where you saw it. So feel free to pop my little name in there if you want to join the club and get your paws on this deck with me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do like filming these little tarot uh, tours from time to time. So I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, let's leave a little computer graphic down below for all of the cyber vibes going on here. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!